now let us begin with a new chapter that is measurement of non electrical quantities so in this chapter we are going to study about measurement of non electrical quantities such as pressure temperature flow velocity displacement acceleration force torque and so on so therefore let us first begin with the measurement of pressure that is pressure measurement so let us begin with measurement of pressure so let us first define what is pressure basically pressure is defined as a force per unit area that is force acting per unit area is called as pressure so pressures are exerted by gases vapors and liquids the instruments that we use for the measurement of pressure they measure pressure as the difference between two pressures so therefore it is the difference between the pressure exerted by a fluid and the ambient atmospheric pressure and such devices indicate the pressure either above or below that of the atmosphere so here uh, let us study about some of the terms used in used in the measurement of pressure such as atmospheric pressure gauge pressure and absolute pressure so let us see first atmospheric pressure the atmospheric air exerts a normal pressure upon all the surfaces with which it is in contact and it is known as atmospheric pressure the atmospheric pressure is also known as barometric pressure here the atmospheric pressure at sea level is called as standard atmospheric pressure it is to be noted that the local atmospheric pressure may be uh, different than the atmospheric pressure at sea level so it may be either lower than the standard atmospheric pressure or it may be greater than the standard atmospheric pressure at the sea level if the place the local place under consideration is higher than the sea level then the atmospheric pressure at that place is lower than that of standard atmospheric pressure of sea level and suppose if the place under consideration is lower than sea level then the pressure value at that point is higher than the standard atmospheric pressure at sea level now let us see gauge pressure so it is the pressure measured with the help of pressure measuring instrument in which atmospheric pressure is taken as standard value the atmospheric pressure on the scale is usually marked as zero and gauges record the pressure above or below the local atmospheric pressure since they measure the difference in the pressure of the liquid to which they are connected and that of surrounding air if the pressure of the liquid is below the local atmospheric pressure then the gauge is called as vacuum gauge and the recorded value indicates the amount by which the pressure of the liquid is below the local atmospheric pressure which is called as negative pressure or negative gauge pressure that means suppose if the pressure measured is below the local atmospheric pressure then the pressure is called as negative gauge pressure and if the value of pressure of the liquid is above the local atmospheric pressure it is called as positive gauge pressure now let us see absolute pressure so it is necessary to establish an absolute pressure scale which is independent of changes in the atmospheric pressure a pressure of absolute zero can exist only in complete vacuum so any pressure which is measured or the zero pressure which is measured at vacuum is called as absolute pressure 
and any pressure measured above the absolute zero of pressure is termed as absolute pressure so absolute pressure is always greater than absolute zero pressure so absolute zero pressure is the pressure of vacuum and absolute absolute pressure is any pressure which is measured above the value of absolute zero pressure so these are some of the terms which uh, we use generally in the measurement of pressure now let us see mathematical representation of absolute pressure and vacuum pressure so mathematically absolute pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure and vacuum pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure minus absolute pressure now let us define the two types of pressures that is static pressure and total or stagnation pressure so static pressure static pressure is defined as the force per unit area acting on the wall by a fluid at rest or flowing parallel to the wall in a pipeline let us consider the water flowing through a pipeline so the pressure exerted by that water which is flowing parallel to the wall of the pipeline is called as static pressure so let us see total or stagnation pressure so this uh, stagnation pressure is defined as the pressure that would be obtained if the fluid stream were brought to rest suppose if the flowing fluid is brought to rest suddenly then the pressure exerted by that fluid is called as stagnation pressure or total pressure now let us see units for pressure and pressure measuring instruments see the fundamental si unit of pressure as we all know is newtons per meter square this is also known as pascal that is pa and usually low pressures are often expressed in terms of mm of water or mm of hg that is mercury and uh, the values of standard atmospheric pressure in different units are mentioned here that is 101.3 kN per meter square or 101.3 kPa 10.3 meter of water 760 mm of mercury 1013 millibar and the conversion 1 bar is equal to 100 kPa which is equal to 10 to the power 5 newton per meter square so it is to be noted that here suppose uh, in in calculation suppose if the value of local atmospheric pressure is not given then i would like to suggest that the value of local atmospheric pressure be taken as 100 kN per meter square right it is 100 kN per meter square which is the general value now let us see classification of pressure measuring instruments so the pressure measuring instruments are classified in different ways the first one is the instruments for measuring low pressures which are manometers and low pressure gauges second are the instruments for medium and high pressures which are Borden tube, diaphragm gauges, below pressure gauge, dead weight pressure gauge. Third category is the instrument for measuring low vacuum and ultra high vacuum pressures, and the instruments are McLeod thermal conductivity ionization gauges. Then fourth category is the instruments for measuring very high pressures. and the instruments used are borden tube diaphragm gauges electrical resistance pressure gauge and the fifth category is the instruments for measuring varying pressure and the instruments used are engine indicator and cathode ray oscilloscope